Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. In today's episode, we're going to begin a new stage. Let's go ahead and get started with Boulder Bowl Galaxy. We'll go the south path uh, once I get all the stars here. Oh right, there's a new power-up in this stage that I think is really gimmicky, but some people like it. It kind of reminds me of a hammer from, uh... Oh, what is it? Uh, like, the Super Smash Brothers series. In that it's powerful, but it's really unwieldy. I think I just gotta get rid of these guys to get it. Yeah. There we go. Rock Mario! Now what you can do as Rock Mario is you can shake the Wii Remote, and you'll turn into a giant boulder. And you can discover all kinds of secrets, like this Comet Metal. Oh, hello. I will take that. I didn't even see that was there. Uh, there's all kinds of small secrets in this, uh... Uh, in those little rock pillars, like... I'll just go ahead and demonstrate. Most of them just have star bits. But one thing you... One thing you do have to be careful of in this stage is rolling off the edge. Um, those... Uh, like that fencing there, that uh, wooden fencing will stop you from rolling off that segment once. If you roll off it again, then you will get killed. Ah, I only got five pins. Yeah, if you get six pins... If you get six pins there, you'll get a nice reward. But you have to get them all at once. Yay! Boost power! Oh, lost my power up. But I know I can get another one here. Somewhere. Now the idea of this stage is that you're supposed to use Rock Mario to just bowl over all these enemies. Rather than take them out the hard way. But unfortunately I lost my power up, so I don't have that luxury. Ow, man, I'm taking a beating here. These enemies are a pain in the butt to stomp, too, because because they want to move away from you in order to make their ranged attacks effective. Which is actually, you know, sensible AI. Now, where's my rock mushroom thing? It's around here somewhere. Oh, it's back here. After I've killed almost all the enemies already. There we go. And I don't think you can take the rock mushroom with you to the next area. I, I feel like smashing up this boulder. Or those boulders, sure. Because they do give a nice amount of star bits. Yeah, you can't take the rock mushroom uh, power up either. Oh, I actually got them all. Cool. Now, is it there? Ow. Yeah, there's pain. Now, what about the chain chomp? Can I bowl over that? No, I can't. That's interesting. Yeah, if you, you see those gold, those little gold plates, uh, on platforms, you can... What is it? 
Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, this Luma explains it. If you shoot a star bit at one of those little gold plates in the ground, you will, uh, you will spawn a coin. Personally, I only use those if I need help. Hello. Yeah, unfortunately, Rock Mario is very hard to control. You don't always get the result you want with him. Ow! I did not need that to happen. Mud! Now, where's that crystal? Because there was a crystal back here. The kind you're supposed to roll into with the musher power up. Yeah, that's the one. Now, I will take this just in case. But I shouldn't need it. Almost didn't hit that. Wow, that's a lot of star bits just floating about. Is this a boss you need Rock Mario for, or is it just... Yeah, it seems like it. Um, this guy actually kinda sorta reminds me of the first boss from, uh, DK64. Oh, you have to hit him from behind? Seems like you have to hit him from behind. Which would make sense, because his backside is open like that. And, of course, I missed on my trajectory. Dying definitely shouldn't be an issue here, because there's all kinds of health around this place. Matter of fact, I think I just wasted one. Look out. There's hit number two. I think he's got one more, because most bosses in this game are just three hits. Come on. Is that it? Huh? He takes more than three hits. Interesting. Maybe he takes four. There we go. That was the last one. So I guess he takes four. Yay, pretty explosions. And pretty stars. Which, if my count is correct, is number 15. And because we have another new power-up, that gets shoved into storage on the ship. 9 for 9 on Comet Medals. We should have plenty of star bits to feed the Hungry Luma as well. But we still have three more stars to get before we, uh, before we even get to the Hungry Luma. Yeah, you got all kinds of room for it. There's a lot of different power-ups in here. Oh, hello. So I guess that's the trigger for the first secret star that we... Uh, that we couldn't get before, but we can get now. Uh, I'm gonna actually finish up this galaxy first, and then go back and do that challenge. So I'll see you guys next time.